god. Guys, look. They're sleeping. I don't know how they sleep, but they're standing up. What are you, a horse? A horse? Hey, guys. How's it going? Neon Jigglypuff Buff here. Welcome. Wait, I said my intro wrong. Let's say that again. Hello, everyone. Neon Jigglypuff Puff here. Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we ate cake. We... Got our revenge on the Iron Harriets. I said, you know what? I'm calling them now. They're called the Harriet Twins. That, that's what I'm calling them now. Or they want, they wanted revenge, but we beat them again. Anyway, pause. And uh, yeah, we ate cake for Dez's birthday, even though it's not her birthday anymore. But still, this series was made for her birthday. So yeah. Also, I have a funny story. But I'll say it later on in the episode. It's about cake. Actually, no, I'll say it now while I'm battling. First, let's see what I have to do first is pay attention, and then I'll get into the story. Rank five, the fuzz. All oh, our fighting fuzzies. Oh, I didn't get to. Didn't get to read what he said. Oh god. Okay. You know what? We can see it again when the battle starts. So not to worry about a thing. So don't worry about anything. Let's just get on with the fight and see what happens. Oh my god. Their color. Wait, we haven't seen the green one, haven't we? Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. We're ready for a beating. Me, York. Me, York. We'll suck your souls. Me, York. Ooh. Hate fuzzies. All right. Don't use your jump. Hmm. I think I can manage. Anyway, let's talk about that story now. So. I don't remember, like, what kind of day it was. I think it was some kind of party or something. Someone had a birthday party that I didn't go to because I was I, I was uh, busy. I don't think I, like, you know, someone had a birthday party, didn't go to because I was too busy, and my mom brought me back a piece of cake from, <laughs> from the party, right? And Orlando was over. When my mom came back home, Orlando was um, at my house, right? And then, okay, so she brought cake. She brought a lot of the cake there. I'm surprised she actually brought a lot of cake there in the first place. But, uh, yeah, she brought a lot of cake home. Holy crap! And Orlando and I were eating it, right? The icing was good. Everything else about it was disgusting. Okay? It was like... I don't know who made it! But it was like, sandy, grainy, and like... It was actually really disgusting cake. And... I remember, like, I just got so frustrated. I don't know, I, I wasn't really mad, but I, I was just like, oh, this is actually disgusting cake. I ended up just like, I literally started playing with it and I squished it in the mush and then I almost threw it at Orlando. I was really tempted to throw it at Orlando, but we were in my room, so I'm like, ah, I don't want to mess up my room, but you know, I was really tempted to throw it at Orlando. I was in denial the whole time. I was like, this cake's not bad, I guess. Not that bad. And then I was like, this is actually pretty disgusting cake, by the way. And when Orlando took the first bite, he was like, hmm, this is pretty good. And then, yeah, he was like, ugh. <laughs> we both, like, we took a bite, and then we were both like, oh my god, this is disgusting. Mario! Oh my god, guys. Whoa, another fight is storming in, screaming his full head off or something, about something. Because also has a lot of foes. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? I keep morphing in the flurry. I, I morph his voice in the flurries for some reason. I'm trying to do King DDD, but it keeps morphing in the flurry. Where on the street was some mustache doofus was on Glitzville. And looky here. Talk about perfect timing. All these folks have to watch me myrtleize you. Okay, guys, look at this. Our first Bowser battle in the game. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you, and I have witnesses. Bowser? Pause on that. But yes, this is our first. <gasps> Luigi's in the. Look at that. Luigi's right there in the audience. Right there in the front, in the middle, beside a Cooper. I thought Luigi had his own adventure to go on. Why is he here? I don't know. Well, I'm so happy to see Luigi here. Look at that. Our first battle with Bowser. Right when you're about to think that, hey, do we ever attack Bowser in this game? Yes, we do. We fight Bowser, and I don't have any way to heal FP. But yeah, I do. The hot doggy! But I'm not weak on... You know what? Nah, I'm not really weak right now, so I don't really need it. But... I'm gonna use Power Smash on this guy. Bowser! Oh, I did it too early! Oh, I did it... Oh, man. 
I don't think Yoshi can ground pound, so I'm actually going to swap. Because I really don't think Yoshi can do anything to Bowser right now. I'll swap out for Koops. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. You know what? I'll, I'll actually tattle Bowser because he's, he's a main character. So I'm actually going to tattle him. I promise that I will tattle every major boss. So, okay. I almost, almost ran away. No. Tattle. Okay. That Bowser. What is he doing here? My mind just blew a feud. Max HP is 30. Attack is 3. Defense is 1. He's uglier than I expected. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. Also, he ground pounds you. You won't be able to... Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus your attention on beating him down, Mario. Oh! Okay, Bowser's pretty strong. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't have any FP at all. Well, we have Crystal Stars, though. And we also have Sweet... I forgot. We, I keep forgetting we, we have Sweet Treat. Okay. So I'm going to swap party members. I'm going to get Koops out because he's the only one who can actually deal damage to him at the moment. Okay, there we go. Good job, Koops. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, he blocked his bite. Thank God. All right, now let's use Sweet Treat and get some FP in here. We can attack Bowser's more often. Or not more often. We can deal more damage to him. Don't hit the... the uh, hit the flowers. Don't hit the poison shrooms. Looks like I'm playing Smash Bros. right now. Oh, that's a... Whoa, he got lots of... Whoa, he got lots of HP. Nine. That's great. We got eight HP in total. That HP... FP, I mean. That is really, really good. So now, I'm gonna swap... Let's get Dizzy Dez out here. Let's gulp Bowser. Let's see if it works. Holy crap, it does. Oh! And we blocked it. Yoshi can fit Bowser's entire body in his mouth. Wait, Dez can fit Bowser's entire body in her mouth. Let's power smash. Let's do it correctly this time. Five. And ground pound? No, you can't do much. Uh, swap. Let's get Koops in here. And use power shell. Might as well. Oh, it did two. Oof! Oh my god. Oof! Well, I expect nothing less than you, Mario. Figures to get some licks in. Oh, I don't know how to block his fire. Oh, you know what? You know what I can do? I'm going to use Clock Out right now. It's a perfect time. Let's show off what it can do. So, if you want to be thrown at Bowser, you have to throw it and rapidly press the button that's on Bowser right now. Woo! Okay, and it works. Now, here's the thing. It will freeze anyone in time for, for three turns. It can either throw... If you do, like, a wrong uh, push or press the wrong button, you could either freeze yourself and your partner or the audience, and that's not what you want to do. So you have to aim at your enemy. And now he's frozen in time for three turns, so we can do whatever we want to him, and yeah, we're good. So, I am going to, I'll take this time to, uh, I'll take this time to appeal and build up our star power so that I can use our super crystal star on him. All right. Appeal. Take this time to appeal, and then we can use our star power. Might as well appeal one more. Actually, you know what? We can attack. Let's see. What should we use on this guy? Shell toss. I mean, well, well, all we can do is shell toss. Let's just use that. There we go. Extra damage, because why not? And now we can finish it off with... Oh, we need two for that. Oops. No biggie. We can just appeal again. Let's see what it does. Do we have enough? Almost. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll attack and then we'll, uh, we'll get more anyway. Stylish. And we can do it. That was finish him off. I know it's going to be a bit overkill, but who cares? Actually, you know what? It might not be overkill. In fact, it might not even kill him. Perfect. Now, let's see how much... I think... You know what? I think it might kill him. 
Nope, he just lived, but don't worry, because Koops has got this. There we go, Koops. You got some spotlight again. Oh, oh my god, we get more experience. We get double the experience points. Thank you, because I need more BP. Yes, double the experience points. Now we have 30. Holy crap, we doubled our, like... Holy crap. <laughs> Whoo, that's Akin Toas. Wait, no. Gotta do King DDD. Pause. Whoo, that's Akin Toas. He ain't even batting out when some nut ambushes him. Tough. You're so tough, son. And you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. Now that was an ordeal. <laughs> Is there fight money? Let's see what we got. Received 13 coins. Now I must be going. Okay. Um, was that King Bowser? What was he doing here? That kind of freaks me out. Yep, Koops, that was Bowser. That was your king. Technically your king, because you're a Koopa, and you're, you know, he's still your king, technically. <laughs> Funny thing is, here's an interesting, like, detail they put in this game. So whenever you see Bowser in-game, all your partners, they all refer to him as e either Bowser or like, oh, that, or no, no, they only call him Bowser, right? Except for Koops. Koops always calls him King Bowser, as everyone else calls him just Bowser. And that's actually a really cool detail be because Koops is the only Koopa that we have out of all these kings. Technically, Yoshi is a subspecies of a Koopa, but, you know. He's not a Koopa. So Koops is the only party member that actually calls him King Bowser, as where everybody else calls him just Bowser. And that's a really cool detail. I really like that. I think it's really nice. Anyway, let's get into one more battle, and I think something else is going to happen if we do. So let's see if we're going to fight. Rank 4, Craw Daddy. Don't use any flower points. Are you kidding me? I just, I, I just, I hate you. I couldn't even hit it with the hammer. Ugh, pink Game Boy. That looks kind of cool, actually. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh, is that Gus from the first thing? He looks like Gus. Maybe he's the same, the same species. Foolish mortals. I will drag you to the gate of the netherworld. What? What? Mario character. That's a Mario character, guys. What? Don't use any FP. Okay. Um, no FP for us. We can't... Uh, okay, so we can't use jumps on him, so, uh... Hmm. Koops, you're up. Alright, no FP, only normal attacks. And he has, he has 30 HP, I think. No, he has 20. Still, that's a lot. For a regular enemy? Still a lot. Even though we're doing a lot to him anyway, so, you know, it doesn't matter. Oh, he's- what the holy crap! What the holy crap. He did six damage. That is nuts. But he's gonna die pretty fast anyway, so... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Four. Holy crap. Even the- even, like, even the block did four. I blocked it, and it still did four. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, let's go. And it's pretty easy. He's done. Oh, it's all punies, too. 11 experience points. We're almost at a level up already. We won? Cool. Oh, Koops, gotta be more proud of yourself. Come on, man. Here's your fight money. 14 coins. Those are, coins are adding up. They're stacking. Where does he keep all these coins anyway? In his pockets, where he keeps all the, all, all the other party members? Um, Mario? Your pocket's beeping. Mail time! Go to the telephone booth at the pavilion from X. Oh, it's Miss X again, huh? The telephone booth. Oh, okay, so we gotta go to the telephone... The tele... I keep seeing... I keep seeing... Telebone. Telephone. Telephone, not bone. Phone. Wants to go outside to do the telephone. Huh? Guns! Gonzalez! Good timing, you bunch of little punk! Uncle Rockhog's got some advice for you. 
If you keep stel if you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt, brother. Quit making such a splash. You value your puny life. Arr, 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 arr. Yeah, you better keep walking, you punk chicken. You hear me talking? Hey, wait. I wonder. Do you think that idiot sent us the hate mail? I guess it doesn't matter. Somebody hates us. So we better watch our steps. You were right about that, Des. We better watch our steps. But let's step outside and go to the, the phone booth. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Ooh. Storage key. Whoa. Go to the storage next to Grubba's office from X. What the heck's this guy's problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need exercise? This dude's really cheesing me off. Who are you talking to? You're staring at the phone still. All right, let's go to the storage room then. Let's go, Yoshi. Mush, mush, my friend. We can't go indoors. Oh, this music. I'm gonna stay quiet a little bit. I like this song a lot. So you're telling me you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry, Miss Jolene. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find anything. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Leave the rest of the matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this, or I'll have your job. Jesus Christ, Jolene. Oh. You. Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. What are you talking about? I'm literally walking down a hallway. F*** you, Jolene, you bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's evil. Whoa. It's just that Jolene's evil. She's evil. <laughs> we need to get you, hunky mustache. Hunk you. Are you the- are you friend of Gonzalez? I didn't know he hung out with crooks like you. Or, with crooks. And you look like one. Security's talking about a noise in here. Did you make a noise while you were stealing stuff? Oh please, no one heard me. I'm the best mouse blurler of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else has been, uh, has been monkeying about in here. Well, whatever lady. You are a thief, right? Hush. I didn't know that I've taken what I've needed. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. <laughs> and now we must and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Oh, we got the claps again. Is, is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things. I'm jealous. You only get one? I almost forgot, my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful, unless you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. What? Poor souls upstairs. Well, she took off, huh? What was that kiss like? I gotta get me one of those. But hey, what do you think she meant by somebody being upstairs, huh? Hmm, this sounds familiar. Find the staircase switch to reach the attic from X. The staircase switch? How in the heck could there be a staircase switch in here? Guys, this is what they were talking about. There's a room in the glitz pit that has a second floor but no stairs. Remember? The seven wonders? This is wonder number, number two. The room that has no stairs but a second floor. Here is what you need to do. See these crates over here? They're not real crates. Just blow them away, and ooh, we got a charge P. We can use so our partners can actually use our charge attack now too, like we have, and it only costs one FP. Hmm, is there anything I want to sacrifice for charge P? Because charge is actually a really good thing that I that I like. Multi bounce, close call, power smash. Um, we don't really need power smash right now, do we? At least for now. I'll save charge for later. 
No. I, we don't need it now. Anyway, let's blow, let's blow away these crates. And let's smash everything. And the frames are dropping. Boom and bo boom. There we go. A switch. And there we go. We found the missing stairs. Let's go up. Should we get full? Wait, should we get Goombella out here? Actually, you know what? We're gonna need Yoshi soon anyway, so we might as well just. Ooh! Shine Sprite! I'll be taking this. How many do we have? We have two. Okay. Alright, so we're going to need Yoshi, I believe. So let's switch. I, mean, I know, I gotta stop saying Yoshi. No. It's Dez, not Yoshi. Okay. You know what to do here? Use our spinny, spinny attack and. Whoa, there's a badge there. I want it. Uh, oh, oh, oh God, it's, it's gonna be a thing. Uh, nope, HP plus P. Ooh, we're in the vent? Or no, we're in the air duct. I mean, it's the same thing anyway. Whoa, there's some, there's voices coming from down there. Scrub his office. So you didn't find how to have anyone in the storage room. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba. It appeared to be secure. And don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, it was actually Ms. Mouse, and they said rat. That's that's actually kind of funny. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we'd miss too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top, Jolene. And hey, by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Grubba. What? I thought he retired. What do you mean they don't know where he is? Don't you think that he would have to, like, like uh, go to Grubba and say, hey, I quit? And so... I deleted his spot on our roster, per regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer had any official connection to KP Pete, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps all the fighters who have gone missing. What? So it's true then. So that means the Seven Wonder means that fighters have gone missing, like Prince Mush that we've heard of, and now apparently King K's gone missing too? Missing? Missing? This is... This is really, really bad. This is really creepy. Whoo, but as I've sure been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. Fifth this year? What in tarnation's going on? I haven't heard some agent say in the, the pit's cursed. The pit's cursed? I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellas that King K headed home for a spell. If word gets out about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for the business. No sorry! Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, you know what I mean? Run to the hills, I mean. Ugh, I said it in the wrong tone. I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go anyway, darling? Uh... That's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy! It didn't mean to pry now. How about this, then? Heard of the Crystal Stars? N no, Mr. Grubba. I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie doke! Well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. So you go ahead and run along now, you hear? Hmm... What the hell does Grubba know about the crystal stuff? Well, if this ain't a fun, how do you do? It seems like fighters are dying a breed. That wild child Gonzalez is the only draw I still got around here. He's talking about us. Whoa, Gonzalez, whoa, did you hear that? The fighters are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. Was that guy talking about King K? The minor leaguer? I thought he retired. <laughs> what in the hey? Dang, she done spoken me! Hey, someone up there! Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 uh I can't burp. Who, <laughs> Nelly? 
Just a little burping beetle. I hear around thinking someone up there are peeping. I gotta relax. I take some yoga class or something. Yep. Well, back to the ring. Hmm. Interesting. So, King K didn't retire. Apparently, he went missing. And Grubba's asking about the crystals. Okay, someone's up to something, okay? Someone's up to something. Because when Grubba, he asked Jolene about the crystal stars, she seemed kind of nervous. And then she kind of brushed it off. But how do either of them, like, but how does he know about the crystal star and why is she acting all, like, all crazy about it? That's very interesting. Whoa, whoa, man, we dodged a bullet up there. Or up here. But did you hear that guy blabbing about the crystal stars? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before someone finds us up here. This is getting interesting. Hmm, and see guys, this is what I meant by this chapter gets really interesting. At first it seems pretty bare bones and tedious and boring, but the story is where this is at. The gameplay wise, this chapter is pretty bland, but story? You're starting to see why this is my favorite chapter of all time. It's very eerie and mysterious, and I like that in games. See, what I value the most in games is the story. Especially one as confusing and eerie and mysterious as this one. I highly, I value story more than anything in a game. Well, maybe gameplay. See, gameplay is important too, and I like music as well. Graphics, don't. I don't really care for graphics. I mean, look at the game I like. This is it. The graphics are cartoony 2D cutouts of, a, of a Mario characters. But you know what? I don't really care about that. It's graphics. I don't really care for graphics. I care for... I mean, a game has to look good, right? It can't be a blob of pixels. It has to look, like, good, right? But I'm not saying, like, like I have to see, like, Mario's skin cells. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's got to be fun and it has to have a decent, like, a decent story and good music. You know. Rank 3, Hammer, Hammer Bammer, and Flair. Hammer Bammer, and Flair. Okay, don't use any flower. Again? No flower points? Ah, uh, okay. Let's get on to a fight. So that's just my opinion on games and- Oh, wait, we've been recording for a long time. I just realized. Um, I'm actually gonna- Okay, you know what? I'll end it off here. And, uh, yeah. Wait, let me- I can't sleep, can I? Scrub wait, no, I can't sleep. Okay, I'm gonna end it off here. And, yeah, because I've been recording for a long time. I didn't even realize- so, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And if you guys enjoyed it, please do not forget to leave a like, subscribe, favor, and comment. And tell me, um, have you ever been in, like, a kind of a, like, an eerie, mysterious uh, situation like this? Like, in any way, shape, or form? Have you ever felt like something's not right here? Like, something's a bit off and you want to figure out what it was? Personally... I've never, like, actually felt this at all. I've tried to recreate it at school, like, through a role-playing with friends as a kid. Like, I'd be like, hey, you be, you be this character, I'll be Mario, and you be that, and you'll be that, and yeah, you know what I mean? So we did try to recreate a chapter like this, but, like, with our own characters and stuff like that, and it was, it was fun, but it was not real. It was, it was role-play, obviously, so it wasn't real, but have you guys ever experienced this? I really want to know. It seems interesting to me. I don't know about you, but it's, it's interesting to me. And with that all said, I will see you guys in the next episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. See you later, guys.